Hey, my name is Matt and I'm doing a video review on what I've learned from the Robot Ignite Academy. This comes from the Ross in 5 Days Unit 1. Before I begin, I want to say that I've tried to learn robot operating systems several times before in the past and have failed. This is due to having complications with getting the right version from what people were demonstrating on the internet or having the information not easily digestible having too much clutter on the screen to be conducive to learning or just getting so many terminals confused and just mixed up that I just couldn't stand it. With Robot Ignite Academy I didn't have any of these issues that I had in the past. They present the information and then they walk you through the process and then they ask you to do it on your own with slightly different criteria from the examples and walkthroughs to make it so it's a bit of a challenge and then you really learn about what you're doing and you understand the whole process a lot better. The most important th things that I've learned are the file system, the navigation of the file system, writing programs and launch files, using ROS launch, building packages and nodes and how they work. To get started, I want to go through and show you the file system. Right up here, you have a little directory where it starts with the source. Right here is a package, and this one is named My Package. Within the package, there's a launch folder, a source folder, a cmakelist.txt, and a package.xml. This is your normal package uh, setup. From inside this on your launch, folder this is where you put your launch files and the source folder that's where you have all your executables or your um, Python scripts and stuff like that your programs that your launch file is going to launch next navigating through this you're going to want to be able to do it through the terminal so you can manipulate your files and everything so typically with Linux you would use um, change directory or CD to get around. With ROS you use ROS CD to get to your main uh, workspace. So if I do ROS CD it takes me to the Catkin workspace slash devel. So from here I'm going to go back to the Catkin workspace and then I'm going to list everything and then I'm going to go to the source directory and then just like here we can see that I this is where I'm at right here so now I want to show you the programs and how easy this is right here I have an example of the simple Python program that is one of the first things that you learn what this does is just print help me Obi-Wan Kenobi your my only hope but it gives you this really cool little development area to work on so it, your screen is not cluttered and you don't have to cycle through all the different um, windows to get to what you want and things are just not in the way so that is the Python part from there, there's also launch files. This is what a launch file looks like. It's got um, package name. It has the uh, type of file that it's going to execute. It has the node type that, or the name of the node, and the output type. So that's the the big important stuff right here uh, that it's got to have, and it can also do multiple. Um, executables or scripts that it loads at the same time so that is programs and launch files now I'm going to demonstrate how you would actually run this program you would do this by using ROS launch ROS launch and then the name of the package so my package and then my package launch file dot launch and then you execute it and you should see 
and it says, prints out, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. I'm going to control C and cancel this. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to build a package. From here, I'm going to make a package named uh, test. To do this, you would use the program catkin create package. From there, you would write the name of what you want your package to be called. I'm going to name it test package. And then you would put um, the, the files that are required to build this. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use RossPy. And then I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. Created it. You can see up here that I now have a test package and you, you can see that it has the source folder and cmakelist and package.xml so from here I'm going to go to the uh, test package and then I'm going to make the directory launch there we go now we have a launch folder and a source folder and we've got that nice little basic setup for a package now I'm going to go into nodes there are a lot of cool commands that you can use for seeing the nodes and everything so I want to move on to that so this Ross node list shows you all of the nodes that are running or being transmitted right now if you want to see what the one of these individual nodes is actually sending out, I will show you how to do that. Ross node info and then the name of the node. And this will print out all the different topics and services and everything else that this has to, this note has to do with pretty neat stuff also actually that's about it um, I'd like to thank you for watching my video and I appreciate your time